Right, welcome to another tuning guide in the Crew Motor Fest, and this time we're tuning one of the starter cars in the game. This is the Ford Mustang Fastback. It's one of the three starter cars you can get for free, and it's absolutely terrible. This thing just wants to go in a drift state so easily, and that means you lose a lot of speed and momentum just counter steering. It is horrendous around tight corners, trust me. If you're using this thing in the Grand Tour or the Grand Air Race, it's going to be very difficult to actually sort of keep the momentum when you're getting buffed around. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to tune this car to make it a really nice car to drive. And to do that, firstly, I'm going to make the car a lot more squat on the rear. And I'm also that's going to make it a bit more understeery. And then we're going to make it a lot more pointed on the turn. So let's start by making it more squat on the rear. We're going to go here to the pro setting. So don't be afraid if you've never been here before. I'm going to guide you through it. Here's our car pro settings. And to start with, I'm going to lower the grip on the front. I'm going to lower the arrow on the front. And I'm going to move the brake bias a little bit more to the rear. That's going to really squat it down, give us more purchase on the rear of the car. It's going to go less into a drift state and it's going to be a lot more controllable. So let's find some right angle corners here on the brake. And you can see there how nice and controlled it is through the corner. Let's find some more tight corners coming up. Maybe a bit more of a right angle here. Let's see, is there? Yes, there is. So we're going to get on the brake. But I don't want to go there. I don't want to go onto the motorway. Bear with me. But you can already see just how nicer it was to control. And for somewhere like the Grand Race, where you can have corners coming out of nowhere. Look at this through this corner. Absolutely planted. That's what we love to see. On the brake, I've gone a bit deep. We'll have to pass that one. And we will improve the turning, don't worry about that. This is just the first stage of the tune. So let's have a look at what we've got here. Nice left angled corner coming up. Where is it? Here it is. On the brake, on the power, absolutely no drama whatsoever. Another right angle corner on the brake, on the power, albeit a bit more understeery. But we're going to fix that. Faster corner here on the brake, again on the brake, on the power, absolutely no drift mode which we love to see you can see it's actually really behaving very differently to the car that we um, inherited and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to pro settings it's very sluggish there on the turn in so we've kind of gone you could say a little bit too far the other way but i can guarantee this is a much better platform i'm actually going to uh, shorten the final drive just to give it a little bit more um, torque out of the corners and what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some negative camber here quite significantly and I'm also going to soften the um, front um, anti-roll bar here to just uh, induce a bit more bite when we turn in. So here we go. This is now the next level of the tune. And remember, this car is really bad stop. So we'll try and go back into the city here. Go around this uh, roundabout. And I just want you to look at the front of the car as we get onto the brake. You're going to see that it really sort of pitches a lot and it's going to give us that bite and that turn in so we're going to go left here oh my goodness very nice now see it's got that it's got that initial turn in which is super nice and then we don't have to control the drift on the way out bit of, of left angle here. i mean so nice you can see now i actually just want to drive this car That's the corner where we really struggled to come out last time, if you remember, just because it was so oversteery. We'll try and turn left here. There we go. There is a drip, but a lot easier to control. We'll boost out a bit. And I think there's a right um, corner coming up, if I remember. Do I remember correctly? Do I remember correctly? Let's see. Is there going to be a very tricky right angled corner at speed? Let's see. Yes, there is. Here it is. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Super, super, super nice to control. We're going to go up some freeway tunnels now. So we've got that bite on the turn. You see, that's why I'm taking a few bites of the cherry on the brake because it is the brake that really is now inducing that turn in. I mean, this is a very actually nice handling car to drive now. Really not chewing up the rear tyres at all. And I'll go back to the tune just to let you know what we did. There is a bit more understeer that we could work on. But in this game, with the physics as they are and the penalty that you get with counter-steering, I would much rather 
have a bit of um, understeer than oversteer. I mean, look at that. Very nice to come out of. Let's try and find a few more corners so you can see what this car is really capable of. So we're going to go left here and then we're going to pitch it into a right. Oh my goodness, very nice. Super nice. It's a bit of a loop here, isn't it? Anywhere else we can go? No, we'll go back up here. In fact, I'll show you now the tune again. Very, very, very different handling characteristics. So here we go. This is what I did on the throw tune. We shortened the final drive a little bit. We took a bit of grip and aero off the front and actually moved the brake bias rearwards a little bit. And then we um, reduced the or softened the front anti-roll bar. And we also add, added some negative camber on the front and the rear. So I really hope that's helped you. Please subscribe if it has. Let me know in the comments what car you would like me to tune next. But there we go. Tuning in the Crew Motorfest, one of the starter cars. I'll see you next time.